angel in some honky tonk tonight. I know she's dancing where the music's loud and the lights are low. In a crowded bar, she likes to hang around. But as long as there's a honky tonk, she'll never settle down. I don't know what the toughest part of my job is. Loneliness. That's it. Why is it lonely? Because this is it right here. You're right here all the time. So you bond with the gear more than anything else and the recordings. Is it, uh, <laughs> is it hard to, uh, so that means it's probably, is it hard to stay in touch with friends? Because you get yeah. totally wrapped up in this. Yeah. For one second. I'm very isolated into the record I'm working on at any given moment. And everything before that and everything that's to come after that is a blur. That's why it's real hard when you when anybody asks me, well, what have you worked on? And sometimes I can't remember the record I did. Not that I can't remember it, but my mind is foggy and and I'm only and I'm clearly focused on exactly what I'm doing, but my short term like, you know, grasp. Yeah, so you, you, you get very I, I get very isolated. I don't think other people do, but you know, I'm a freak. I'm weird. You know, you go through relationships, you see the other things fall by the way. You know, you're struggling you know, to get your band off the ground and, and like, you're away from home most of the time. And the next thing you know, there's trouble at home for somebody. So you see them go through that. And you, you can't help but think or know that in a year or six months or how long ever it may be, I'm going to be going through this very same thing. I miss my daughter. My daughter's five months old. And, you know, a week away from home is a long time when they're that age because it's such a precious time and because they change so much. You know, when I get home, she'll probably be crawling and sitting up and stuff like that. And she wasn't when I left. She was trying to, you know? So th that's hard. Wish I had the power to turn back the time Live again the hours when she was on my it hurts to see her running with that crowd downtown. But as long as there's a honky tonk, she'll never settle down. The extents to which people will go to to get themselves away from the band, free time, and to make two lives. Like, I watch Jim in action on the phone here with his children every morning, and, you know. It's like, there's a conscious effort to, I have to be day-to-day -day involved, so therefore, it's, you know, like we call it, it's kid time, and Jim's on the phone. And, you know, I respect that, but, but there, he realizes the amount of work involved in that end of it to make things work. I think that my children suffer from total absence of a father for a third of the year. They suffer from that and so does my wife. But they benefit by having, having me a real big presence for the rest of the time. Um, but you know, most of the people I know that have real jobs, they, they make every effort to try and you know, shorten something, take weekends off or something like that. It just seems like there, there are certain professions, lawyering for example, where you just don't you just don't have the time. And I feel sorry for those people because I guess they're, you know, they are going to miss out on a, on, a <clears throat> on a big opportunity in their life that will never be repeated. Close all the hockey towns, go away the key. Baby, the one I love will come back home to me. And I was, hes like I say, I was hesitant to come here because I thought it was going to be a drag being away from home. But it's actually, like I say, it's kind of nice to uh, just sort of get completely wrapped up in the record and not really have, you know, you, we have like no contact with the outside world at all. You guys are the, <laughs> you guys are the first people that came along from the outside, you know. It's kind of like, oh, oh. <laughs> Nothing in this world is any 
thing about having a film crew around is not necessarily playing music but the sorting out of the parts. What do you think about doing it? Uh, so when yeah. we're sitting around trying oh, to discuss nice stuff, right? how the parts work together, um, I think it's hard for us to sort of talk about that because it's pretty open and uh, even and sort of generous when we're just sitting around by ourselves and then somehow it just changes. I don't know exactly what it is when there's a TV camera. I'm not comfortable. You're not comfortable in this situation. Right. 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 right now? Yeah, it's not the way I, you know, would want to make records. But uh, part of being in a band is compromise and going along with someone else's idea. You know that I was the one, I was a proponent for this, so saying this is a good thing, we should do this. And I think I was the most unnerved yesterday. Um, because what it did was take me out of the present and make me think about all those kind of, those back of my mind thoughts that are, that are what we should do with the group and all this kind of stuff. And I had just, those, those thoughts are just simply not here when we're making music. I, you know, I'm still, just a regular guy from southern Ontario who you put a camera on him and he gets slightly nervous. Um, and th that is a disruption when, when you're sitting in the studio in your shorts and, you know, your white, white Canadian legs and playing a track and realize that it's on national television all the time at that moment. Oh, this is what they're going to see. You can't help but act different. And it, when you're trying to do something very seriously, it's very distracting. you isolate the experiment, you've changed whatever it was, and you have to incorporate what it is, the, the, the instrument of perception, whatever it is, into whatever's going on. But it does change it, what it was. Like you, I don't think you could capture the first seven days, because if you were there, it wouldn't have been those seven days. And we were doing a lot of good work then. And luckily, we had a momentum going when you came here, and, and we sort of, you know, the, the momentum carried us through. with those cameras shining on me. Those lights are too bright and you know, I'm not I'm not that, that you know, to me it doesn't matter that much. Yeah, it wasn't it's not something that, that I would uh, immediately go, yeah, let's get a film crew in while we're recording. And uh, you know, I understand that it's uh, it's something that helped 
sell the record in a way, you know, it, uh, so people will know about the record, see a little bit of the process of the record, and, uh, but that isn't my major concern, you know, but I can understand how that is a concern. And, uh, so, you know, as I said the other day, there's a, a part of being in a band, and is that is compromise. You, know, you, you can't just uh, sit there and go, no, I'm not going to do that. You, know? you just go, okay, I'll do that. Let's see how it goes. Okay, you can shut that off now. <laughs>